Well, this must be spring because the flowers that Vicki planted are coming up and she loves flowers. They're gorgeous. And uh, me, on the other hand, I prefer things that I like to grow that you can eat. The garlic that I planted last fall made it through this winter. The Swiss chard that I planted last fall came through the winter. I planted last fall, came through the winter. My kale that I planted last fall came through the winter. I've been eating it all winter long. Another type of kale that I planted last fall came through the winter and I'll start eating it soon. My thornless blackberries that I planted just a few weeks ago are coming through just fine. This is a Japanese Fuyu persimmon to go along with the ones that we've already had. We planted two of them uh, this uh, winter and they're just an awesome fruit. This is a, a, a mulberry tree. I planted two of them. They're called Black Beauties. They're going to go along with the four we already have, uh, which are hardy, they're called, but they're not producing as well as I'd like. Um, there's a story that goes along with this. A neighbor lady came to us and uh, brought a tree limb with some berries on it. She was very concerned. She brought the tree limb to me and had these berries. Her children, her grandchildren were eating them, and she was very concerned. I simply took a couple berries off, chewed them up, ate them, and told her, these are really great. These are mulberry, uh, mulberries off of a mulberry tree. You're very lucky, very fortunate to have one of these trees in your yard. And so she went home happy. This is a pomegranate bush, and uh, I've gotten a couple of pomegranates off of it, but not a whole lot. I'm hoping that as it matures, it'll produce more. I got the idea to plant a uh, a tree like this or a bush like this because my daughter up in Kannapolis has tons of them on her tree next to her house. So I got excited and wanted some too. This little pecan tree will go with the other two that we already have. We have one that's about 25 feet tall and uh, hopefully this will uh, work out with all three of them together. This is another Japanese persimmon tree. It's called the Ichi. I don't know how to pronounce the real name, but man, it is really good. If you eat them too soon, uh, they're really astringent and make you pucker, but boy, are they good. They are just, they're great. This is one of the four uh, mature mulberry trees that we have. I love mulberries because they, like I said, they're so sweet and they don't have any seeds in them. But when I was in Oklahoma, my grandma had a mulberry tree right across the road and we used to get those and bring them home and she'd make pies out of them and man, they, they were good. A lot of people don't know what they're missing if they don't have a mulberry tree. Uh, this is Vicki's rock garden and her flower garden. She uh, kind of took it over from me. <laughs> I used to dump a lot of river rock in there when I was uh, prospecting for gold. I'd go get a truckload of rock and sand, gravel, and pan through it, keep the gold, and uh, that's where I'd deposit all the river rock. And uh, no, she's going to turn that into something that's beautiful, and she likes it, and uh, it's one of her happy places that she, uh, she really enjoys being. We have quite a few blueberry bushes. Uh, they take a long time to grow. It takes five to seven years to really get them going good. Uh, that's been my experience. But Vicky comes out and uh, picks these day after day after day for two to three months. And we just have loads and loads of blueberries. It's one of our favorite things to eat. And uh, everything we have is organic. No pesticides. Uh, we compost our garden. We compost everything we have. And uh, it's just kind of nice to have uh, access to foods that you can eat and that you don't have to worry about.